Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? Thank you for joining. This is a quick video showing you some quick mic settings. I know you guys want to get down with your new microphone, and I want you to know exactly what to do. Whenever you load up a microphone, you're going to hear all kinds of noise. You kind of want to avoid that. You kind of want to be able to add some cool effects. So I want to be able to show you all that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More cool videos like this coming soon. I like giving out these tips and tricks. All right, so we're in Ableton. First thing we need to do is go to our settings. Hit command, comma, to enter into our preferences quickly. While we're here, we go to the input. Input is always the microphone. Output is always our speakers, which are also called monitors, or our headphones. So the input is where we choose the microphone that we have plugged in. So my microphone is plugged into my interface, which is called the Scarlett 2i2. So that's what we're choosing for the microphone. Now we have our microphone set up. We go ahead and make a new audio track so that we can start recording and listening to ourselves. Make this audio track and hit the record button so we can hear. You see here we're getting some signal, but we actually cannot hear ourselves. So we want to monitor our voice. So what we do is go here and hit auto or in. And, and then, then now we can, now we hear. can hear. So you hear, so my, you hear voice. my voice. You can, you actually, can actually hear, hear noise, noise like, like in, the in the background. It's not, it's not completely, completely silent. silent. So that's, so that's problem. a problem. So what we're going to do, do is that the, the drip mic. mic. And then, boom. then boom. Background, background noise, noise is going. going. We're using, we're using a gate. gate. We're adding, we're adding the, the limiter, limiter as, well. as well. So basically, what we want to do is look at these free kilohertz effects. When you load up the kilohertz gate, this is almost the default setting. But what we did change is the release. So we made the release a little bit different at 158 milliseconds thresholds at negative 21 25 decibels these are the main things that we're working on here and i just went ahead and saved that what this gate does is it's going to stop that noise so let's so let's test test it, it. off, off. Blah, 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 blah. On, on 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 then you want to make, make sure, sure that, that you, you limit, limit it because when you start speaking really loud it starts to distort and it doesn't sound clean we want to make sure that we fix that so anytime the signal goes above zero this limiter will kick in and it's going to bring the signal back down but in a clean way so the way we test this is we basically say something loud on the mic it'll sound really distorted and gross and we'll add the limiter to start making it sound clean Yo. limiter limiter Yo. still still slightly, slightly distorted, distorted but much but much better, better. We, we are, are slightly changing the signal so that it's not clipping and we're making sure that it's not as distorted just cleaning it up we're adding this to the end of the signal flow it's always good to have some of this now now we have our, we vocal. Have our vocal you can start, you can start recording. recording you can press, you can press record, record. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo yo you don't want your signal to look clipped like this this is a little bit better but the reason this is looking like this is because I'm so close to the mic. Whenever you're recording your vocals, make sure you have a good distance from your microphone so that you are not distorting. So keep that in mind. And then also, if you need to, like let, let's say it just doesn't sound loud enough, you can add a utility and bring up the gain a little bit right here just to add a little bit of volume if that's needed. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Keep in mind your interface will also have one of these. So make sure your volume is good. And make sure you check visually how the waveform's looking. So we can re-record. I'm gonna talk normally. And you see the waveform starts to look decent. I can like go crazy. And then we start to get waveform that looks higher, but you still see dynamics, right? It's going from high to soft and it's moving. That's what you wanna see. You do not want it to look like a brick. This is all good. Then from here, you can start to add effects. With the effects, this is always a fun time because you can have fun with reverbs, delays, and even the choruses. Let's listen to what I just recorded. And you see the waveform starts to look decent. And you see, we'll turn this off. And you see the waveform starts to look decent. Turn this on. And you see the waveform starts to look decent. So you see this cleans it up significantly. 
As soon as you load up your microphone, you want to just go ahead and add the drip mic right away, the gate and the limiter. You guys can download the kilohertz effects for free. Just go there, get those amazing. It comes with all kinds of effects. And then after you have a vocal, see the waveform starts, you can start adding effects. So we add this, see the waveform starts to look decent. I can like go crazy. This is making it a little bit louder with the compressor. We're adding width with the yo man from left to right wider We're adding the reverb in parallel so we have a dry reverb as well as a wet reverb so both of them are playing so we have a clean vocal playing with the wet vocal underneath it negative 17 then we have the auto pan making it even wider see the waveform starts to see the waveform starts to look decent we're adding compression see the waveform starts to look decent the compression makes it louder brings all the levels to a balanced level and then the yo man starts to add cool chorus effects. see the waveform start see the waveform starts to look decent even robotic crazy cool tails as well see the waveform starts to look decent add a reverb see the waveform starts to look you can mess with this to add more and less see the waveform starts to look decent i can like go crazy then the auto pen see the waveform starts to look decent now it's slowly moving from left to right adding cool psychedelic effect and this is really just for experimental cool creative vocals it's not really meant for like a main vocal if you're rapping for example it's more for just cool vocal swells vocal effects or just random vocal phrases in the intro or breakdown build up or even a little bit in the drop you can really have fun and get creative and it's really simple to start making nice cool vocals don't make it hard on yourself get a good mic make sure it's decent there's two different types of mics this is a dynamic mic for podcasts for stuff that i do like youtube and then there's condenser mics which is for real vocal recording like rappers singers you want to make sure you have a nice isolated room so that noise isn't reflecting off the walls you want to make sure the vocal is being recorded very clean and precise i recommend looking into the baby blue bottle for a budget microphone and then this right here is the sure mv7 if you guys are interested in this one otherwise you guys are awesome have a good day stay fresh let me know in the comments what other microphone techniques you guys want to learn peace later